Look how it is. The big dogs turned up. Out there, big Wallace, let's go. We're out there. Kingy mission on. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Wild North Addiction. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is William, and Wild North Addiction is full of bust ups and no plan. Today, I've actually got Tane on board again. He's just uh, setting up some slick baits because we're going to try and catch a big kingy. I've, uh, I'm pretty hooked on the slick baiting at the moment. A little bit different than snappers. And it's very rewarding when you catch one. So I'm on a slick bait buzz at the moment. We're going out, we're gonna go and try and catch a big kingy. Pack attacks. And then uh, we're just gonna see what happens. So stick around, hope you guys enjoy the video. And hopefully it's a full session of just pack attacks. Let's go. Yeah, on my lure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look, bro, is that the better one? Yeah, bro. Yeah, did you see that come out of the water, yeah, bro? Yeah, bro. Get him. Do a cast, bro. Holy f***ing the That was a main hit. Can we get a double? It's not going too hard. Does anyone know he's off yet? Oh yeah, there's oh, heaps yeah, of... There's a big one down. Yeah, boy. Feels so good to be hooked up. Is that the fella? Nah. <laughs> I think it's a kingy. No, it's, it's a good one too. Is it? Better than that first one. Yeah, that first one was pretty small. Nice one, big Willard. <laughs> Casting for ages, eh? Finally get a reward. Yeah, boy. Should we take one home? Yep. I'm gonna grab the gaff and we'll, um, may as well take a nice eater home, chuck him in the smoker. That's a nice eater, eh? Nice eater. Top gaff shot too. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Nice hey. one, big one. I'm perfect. Doors out. Mean. Mean. <laughs> yes. Got him. After quite a while of casting, actually. Finally managed one. That's a nice kingy to a, uh, well the second one, the little, the first one was rather little. And managed to finally find a nice one to take home. And that one's not going back. We've gaffed him and uh, we'll bleed him. 
and you'll be straight in the smoker tonight or tomorrow morning. How good? Beauty. Oh, on me! Yeah, big gingy! Yeah, boy! But my GoPro's not working! Yeah, bro! Oh. I was just sorting out my GoPro. <laughs> I'm actually on my phone. Look at the your law, bro, there's heaps! Look at that guys, hold oh, there's some monsters Big Willis, chuck your lure at them, look at that! <laughs> that right in. Get him Big Willis, get him, get him! Oh, oh my GoPro is flat! <laughs> Well's had to happen. Right, as Tane got the meanest, meanest strike. Back attack. I was just changing my GoPro battery. It was a full bust up. Looks like all right, wasn't it? There was so many kings following him, eh? That's a good fish, bro. Should we keep that one? Yeah, I'm y'all. Gonna take one home. Well, I've got one. Kane's gonna take one home. So we've got this uh, warehouse gap, I think it is. Turn off the drop it. Yeah, boy. Yeah, bro, that's, that's a, a good, good one. Oh. Watch out. Yeah, yeah boy. boy. <laughs> yes, finally! Whoa, how was that? That was actually quite intense here for a second. My GoPro battery's busting up. Kane got the meanest whack of heaps of kingies, actually. There's heaps in there, eh? Like heaps. 20? 20. Oh my god, and I heard the. <laughs> so the that was like, side on your law. It was like right here, too. I had my head stuck in there. <laughs> On the board! That's a good fish! Yeah, boy. On that OTL, that little one, 75 gram chop. Almost 100. Almost a metre? Good fish. Hold them up, we'll get a few photos. Yeah, boy. Uh, Big Willis was showing me up for a bit there. But um, perseverance paid off, cast, cast, cast. And um, we got this nice fish. That was quite crazy. Had a good pack attack and there was about, I don't know, about 20 other fish there. And um, that was just on the uh, little 75 gram chop from OTL. And I'm absolutely over the moon with that. It's such a good fish. Yeah, boy. Wow, how bloody good was that uh, little session. Got a few kingies, got uh, two in the back here, and Tane missed an absolute monster that we didn't get on film. It was right by a boat, it was a bust up, we were trying not to hit the boat, and then Tane yanked it out of its mouth pretty much. 
and the lure come flying out like two meters and then the king couldn't find it and then bug it off but we're not going to end the video here we're uh, we're actually leaving but i'm going to see you guys back at home and i'm going to smoke this king up for the family tane's going to take his kingy home and uh smoke it up and give it to nana pop and the family and a few mates so we're not ending the video here but i hope you guys are enjoying the little fishing session and um wow well, i'll see you guys at home Right, so we've uh, made it back home, washed the boat, the boat's all spickety span. Tane's left, he's actually gone home to sort his kingy out. And I've got my kingy here, there's actually a few flies getting on it, which is busting up. But we're just going to chunk this up for smoking, chuck it on here. And uh, we've actually got this little towel on here, just to absorb any moisture. And then let it settle with a little bit of brown sugar. And then uh, put in the fridge, leave it overnight, and then we'll get this fire and the smoky going in the morning, tomorrow. So, we won't muck around, won't let these uh, flies get it. And we'll fill up this dog up and... Good. Right, so I just like to uh, keep it pretty simple. Do the chunks, and then uh, we'll obviously take these wings off. Actually, we might do that first. That's uh, it's a great idea. But there we go, that's the, uh, the wing off, that was super easy. Little uh, scums go to the dog. And hopefully you guys can see me. That right there is the mean little wing, and that's going straight onto the, the old mum's tea towel. She's actually in Christchurch at the moment, so I'm able to steal the tea towels. Wings, some people think that they are the best bits. And I actually can agree they are pretty good. Check it out. So just fill it normally how you would normally uh, fill it a fish, straight down the backbone. I know some people do actually go straight through the backbone, but we're just going to keep it simple, do it like this. How good. And that backbone there, that'll actually just go to the dogs for a little bit of dog tucker. Keep the dog nice and healthy. There we go. One big slab. And I've just missed a little bit of, bit of meat on here, so that's not going to waste. That's going straight in the stomach. Some of the best bits come off like this. I reckon anyway. Keeps you nice and healthy. So good. Check it out. Unreal. 
and that's healthy as it gets eating it straight off the bone right so while this is here I'll just chop this up into chunks and I'll probably just go how am I going to do this I think I need a board so I don't blunt in the knife this little board's not quite appropriate, but it'll do. She's little. Nice little board. Uh, right, I might... Calm down like that. I might take this little little bit off. Oh, and I forgot to mention that you uh, leave the skin on for smoking. But if you do have a bust up, like I have done before, you can um, just like wrap it up. I'll put tin foil underneath, and she's all good. That bit, another very good bit. One. That's the uh, first steak coming off. We'll do quite big steaks. Not a very big kingy, so. We'll make it look big. There we go. One fillet done. It's uh, one fillet. Well, one side of the kingy. It's uh, no beat left. No meat left on those bones. Not beat. Need to go back to school. Hey, Miles. What do you reckon? He's a good boy. All right. That one was a little bit. Messy, but that's that's all right. We've eaten. Look, I'm still eating bits off it. She's uh bloody good. But that backbone there, that's actually going to the dog. This one here should be another one round too. Trev, <whistles> Trev uh, goes hard on the on the backbone and the head. I'm uh, not too sure if it's good for dogs, but it must be. It's well, it's fish. Fish is good for dogs, isn't it? As long as they don't get a bone stuck in their stomach, we'll be sweet as. So I'll just chop this in the middle here, and then they can fight over who gets what. There we go. That's uh, one little kingy. By all means, it was no monster, but the perfect eater and the good size to, to deal with. I don't want to deal with a 35 kilo kingy, even though it wouldn't be too bad of a problem. But you know what I'm saying. I only need enough to feed the family and a few uh, good mates. And that right there, that's enough. So I'm going to go grab the brown sugar, go raid uh, mum's stash, and then I'll be back. I've lost the brown sugar. Alright, found the brown sugar. It will just put a little bit on. A little bit on each, just to, uh, I don't know, make it settle overnight. And look, half flash. And then uh, if it needs topping up in the morning, we can just chuck a little bit more on. If not, then we'll just put a little bit of salt on. She'll be a little way laughing. Smoke King is bloody good. And uh, you can make all sorts with it, actually. Pâtés and whatnot. Now we're getting real technical. That'll go uh, bloody nice just in the fridge overnight. And then... Start, start the uh, smoker up, let it go for, I don't know, a wee while, hour and a half, an hour, get it real smoky, and then chuck these bad boys in. Right, so there we go, that's uh, not rocket science, pretty much just fill up the kingy, chuck a bit of brown sugar on it, steal a tea towel out of mum's cupboard, and an oven dish, and yeah, hopefully that brown sugar settles into the fish a bit, and then she'll be all good to chuck in the smoker.
So I'm not going to take you guys to the fridge because all I'm going to do is open up the door and put the fish in and shut the door. So I'll leave it here and I'll see you guys in the morning. Right, good morning guys. It's, uh, the fish has been settling in the fridge all night and it's actually looking bloody good this morning. So first things first, going to get the smoky going and uh, get some logs on it and then go and put a little bit more brown sugar on that fish and a little bit of salt and then she'll be all good to chuck in. Good to go. Right, that looks like all the newspaper we've got, which is not much. Couple of little sticks, this could end in a bust up. Hopefully not. And got a few more bigger sticks over here. Using a tea tree for smoking the wood and Pahutukawa. So there's a Pahutukawa that fell down on a farm on a mate, and I was like, well, I'm going to get that for some uh, smoking, smoking wood. Hopefully this wood's not too big for a start. Should be right. we'll see what happens. Right, let's see what happens here. Grab that GoPro out of there. Hopefully, it just uh, slowly catches on fire. Might actually just get some of these little bits. Should have put them at the bottom, but oh well, it is what it is. That should go. That's a bit ragged, but she's all right. Don't have the uh, most newspaper in the world, but that's all right. Well, probably do, but I couldn't find any. This was uh, just what was in the kitchen table. Look, I haven't done a smoke in here for a long time. These spider webs growing. Wow, smoke spider. He's away. Away laughing. Right, so I'll just let that uh, little fire get a little bit of a base first with some of that, some of those little sticks that we put on, and then we'll just chuck on a log, sort of like this size, or you know, these sort of ones, and then we'll chuck on probably, well that one's quite big, but so maybe that one, or there'll be there'll be one sort of like that. That one's already half burnt. Don't know what, what that one's doing in there. But yeah, first we'll just get a base in there and then chuck on slowly bigger and bigger and bigger ones. And then we've actually got some sawdust in here that I did on the last mullet video that I did some smoking. And we'll just smolder that and then it gets super smoky and creates for a bloody good smoke. Just burn out all those spiders. Burn those dogs out. Right, so I've just chucked a few logs on this fire. And uh, that's looking good. Once we put some sawdust on there, then that'll just smolder away. Got a good uh, ember layer under this big log here. And that's a little bit wet, so it's taking a little bit longer, but that's all good. We'll chuck some salt and just a little bit more brown sugar on here. As you can see, the brown sugar sort of soaked in a bit. That wing there, that's gonna be, that's gonna be tasty. Quite a fan of the old wing. Mm. 
Leave it a brown sugar. There we go. Done ski. We uh, can't wait for that. Right, so in this bucket is oh now the GoPro's going by the way. In this bucket we've got uh, a bit of sawdust. Now this is just tea tree, manuka, kanuka sawdust that I've uh, just mulched up, and if you just buff it on like that, it gets really smoky really quick and that's what I like doing but that heat still coming through just gives it that real smoky flavor and that'll just slowly burn through yeah boy oh, look. Just in there. Right, shut the door. King's on. Far, far north stalls. And there we go. It's pouring out the top. So we'll give it like half an hour, an hour. Then I'll see you guys back here, and we'll uh, have a check. Little update on the fish, and she's actually looking pretty good. We're going to chuck another log on, put it sort of dying out a bit. That one there. And that'll do. I actually did put a little bit more wood chip on without the camera. That's right, it's sort of not much heat at the moment, so we'll just leave it like that and try and get a little bit more heat in there. But it's looking alright. Far from done, but a nice slow smoke is good. She's looking primo. Looks like the uh, old man's had a little bit of a go at this. So I'm gonna have a little go. Oh yeah, that's bloody good. Won't eat it all. I might just put a little bit more sawdust on, just to uh, in the smoke with a real smoky bit of, bit of flavour. That'll be alright, that'll be out for 10 minutes or so. And then uh, she'll be done. Real uh, smoky end to it, and then she's coming out and straight in the stomach. How good. She's looking beauty, mate. Check out the colour on it. That nice little uh, smoke, obviously, it's burned through the the uh, sawdust. That last little bit. Far out, that's hot. And it still feels moist as well. She's hot. She's very, very hot. I'm still a bit smoky. Yeah, check it out. Beautiful.
Great Annie. Hi. Oh, shoot. Smoke fish. <laughs> Not again. You're on the camera. Oh, go away. <laughs> uh, awesome, honey. Uh, right, you probably don't need this much. No, I probably don't need that much. I'm here to play it. Chuck her on the table. What do you reckon? Hmm, nice. Good? Goes well with condensed milk. That's what I just had. That's it. Why are you eating condensed milk? Well, because I'm just making some dressing. Oh. Hmm. Here we go. Thank you. Very nice. Yeah. Um, can I take that big bit? Yeah. Because I'll take it for bowls tomorrow. Yeah, take it all. Nice. Wow, there we go. Smoke King is done. It was a uh, bloody good fun yesterday catching the kingies straight into chopping them up, straight into the fridge, and then this morning get the fire going. Smoke is going, and uh, now the kingy is done. Giving it to Nan and Pop. This, got, this is going to be our dinner, and uh, I'm actually off down the line in a few days and uh, go past my sister in Kiri Kiri. So she'll be getting some, and then anyone that turns up, here you go, here's a bit of smoke kingy. So, thank you guys very much for watching. I'm going to leave the episode there. And uh, don't forget, William the Fisherman on Instagram and Facebook. And Wild North Addiction on TikTok. And if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. It uh, helps me a lot. And like the video, comment what you thought. If you didn't like it, also leave a comment on what I can improve on. But, thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll see you probably on part one of my big New Zealand roadie. Let's go.